James Grayson back again for shortformvideo.co.uk with an After Effects quick tip that will help anyone who's ever tried to create a chroma key or green screen effect with less than perfect footage. Before I start, successful chroma keying is dependent on a number of different factors, so this isn't a magic wand that will fix everything. But I'm pretty sure that once you see how simple and effective this trick is, you'll probably add it to your standard green screen troubleshooting workflow. As you can see, I've already got some green screen footage laid out in After Effects. It's actually not that bad, but if we take a close look, you'll see that the screen itself is a little bit dull, and the video is a little bit noisy, and both of these factors can affect how well your chroma key comes out. So the first thing we're going to do is head to the Effects and Presets panel and find the Selective Color effect. I've just grabbed that and drag it onto our footage. Up in the Effect Controls panel, make sure that you've got greens set from the drop-down menu, and then we dial up the cyan value to 100%, and the magenta value right down to minus 100. Now, as you can see, when I toggle the effect on and off, this really has the effect of pumping up the green values in our footage uh, without actually damaging any of the colors in our foreground plate. Um, you can also adjust the yellow and black values to push the saturation even further. So if you just dial up the black a bit, maybe about 50%, that should do it. It's probably worth pointing out at this stage that if you have um, problems with overspill, which is green light reflected off of your talent, then this effect will probably make things worse. Like I said, it isn't a magic wand. As far as the noise in the background is concerned, there are two things you can do here. The simplest option is to find the channel blur effect and add that to your footage and uh, set the green blurriness to a value of 2. Toggle the repeat edge pixels value and make sure that horizontal only is selected. If I uh, zoom in, you can see this takes the edge off of the noise, but will also soften off some of the blocking you can get with heavily compressed video formats. Um, but don't overdo it. Um, if you dial up the value too much, you'll get some really significant um, effects that you don't want. Um, alternatively, if you're feeling adventurous, you can try the Remove Grain filter. But just be warned that it takes a little setting up and will really slow down your render times. And as this is just a quick tip video, I'll not be covering that here, but please do leave a comment if it's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. So uh, that's how you can give your chroma key some real pop uh, before you get to the stage of adding your chroma key of choice. As always, I hope you found this useful, and remember that you can find tutorials and tips like this, along with a bunch of free After Effects project files at my website, shortformvideo.co.uk. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.